So we're here in Cambodia, day five of a missions trip, um, and we're visiting the work of a local church pastor, Pastor Hor Panlak. Yeah. And uh, Pastor Hor uh, has been pastoring a church he planted four years ago in Kampong Song. And we want to tell his story. We want to get his ministry out there um, because really we're blown away after uh, several days uh, riding along with him and uh, watching him minister, seeing the work, the impact that he's doing in surrounding villages as well as his city, it's just amazing. And so we want to we want to get this story out to the American church and we want to help him uh, in so many ways continue this great, great ministry. So we're going to ask him a few questions just to get to know his ministry a little bit more. And so four years ago you planted a church, a reformed uh, yeah. church. Tell us a little bit about the church. Uh, we have uh, the service on Sundays. Uh, this is uh, our uh, the building that we can use only Sunday as a worship hall. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the days, they use as a biblical class. Mm -hmm. So it is hard for us that uh, to do the full strength and the full activity in our inside our church. So Pastor Hoare's church actually uses a facility at a Bible college um, where he also teaches. And we were there Sunday, we were able to minister with him and it was just phenomenal. Um, truckloads of kids were showing up, singing about Jesus, hearing the gospel preach. Uh, we probably had 25 or 30 adults. Um, and where this Bible co college is located, um, they're not driving in. These are poor people, they're walking in. And to see that many people walk that far to hear the word of God, is just amazing. So one of the great needs that they have to continue this great ministry is to find a facility um, closer to the village. Um, and of course we'll get into how we can help him with that in just a minute. So you're a busy man. You're yeah. a busy man. Yeah. He does much work for the Lord. And I thought I was busy and I was blessed and blown away by the amount of work you do for Jesus Christ, both you and your wife. So tell us a little bit about that. What does your week look like? Sunday, Monday, okay. Tuesday. Yes. Uh, Monday to Friday in the morning, I spend the whole morning for teaching the Jews because in the Bible school, I, I, I only the Cambodian who, are, uh, who teach in this, in this school. The rest of the teacher are the foreigners. So the Cambodian to, uh, student, they, they face difficulty to catch up the English class. That's why uh, I need to help them to understand God's word in Cambodian language. Mm -hmm. So at afternoon, from Monday, I take a visitation for those uh, the, for a member who who absent on Sunday worship. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, and Monday and Tuesday, I go to their home for 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 those ch members who are absent. Yeah. And then Tuesday, uh, on the Thursday, we have a meeting to the like a. Uh, the church member and the evangelism for for our activity in the church and then on Friday we have prayer meeting mm -hmm. uh, at the, our church member home so through the prayer meeting church can grow uh, this man's teaching Monday through Friday in a Bible college in the morning and then laboring um, in villages constantly through the week and I just got to tell you, we showed up at some of these villages and some of these schools where um, his family serves, and we came in fully expecting to evangelize children who had never heard about Jesus. These, villa these schools have heard about Jesus from this man, from Pastor Hoare. Um, the labor is unbelievable, and we were, we were literally shocked at just how far one man has brought the gospel through uh, village after village after village. That's just as weak. Um, Sunday, 7.30, he's up. He's picking up a truckload of kids from villages and bringing them to hear the gospel, uh, laboring through preaching the word and then taking these children home. And then he's going back to these villages and visiting these kids on Sunday afternoon who can't hear the gospel and literally running a children's program. Teenagers, his own disciples, teenagers are helping him out. Um, this is just, uh, uh, just an amazing, inspiring ministry. I'm not sure the last time I saw God use one man to do this much work for the sake of the gospel. And here we are in Cambodia. Um, very little people know what's going on. Very, very few people uh, know the needs of the pastors here. And so we're going to ask Pastor Hoare if you could give us one challenge or one thing uh, as 
or to the American church, what is your biggest need? I, I pray that Americans may help us. We are the local, we live in Cambodia, we can move forward with our strength, with our body, and with our knowledge that we have from Christ. But we need your help. Without your help, we cannot move forward. Actually, we have a strength, but you, you need to, 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 to help us to move it. And then the most important need for us is the location. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays, my location is not available. It's uh, like in the, uh, in the jungle, mm -hmm. far away from the people, the village. So I want to move a little bit to the, 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 the village nearby the people. That made that the people may come to worship easily. Uh, in Cambodia, it's uh, different from the other because our members are poor. That's why they, they cannot come by their own motorbike or by a car. Because our church members, they are poor, they have no ability to, to do the transportation. They need to walk. And it, uh, especially, I, I, I take one example on Saturday. We have a uh, fellowship with the Juice Factory Worker. They need to walk almost one hour mm. from the, the factory down to my place. Mm. And then we worship, uh, we finish worship by 7.30. And then we walk back, mm. send them back by walking. So I pray that you may pray for us to have a proper worship place so that we can spread out the gospel and then continue to pray to help us to to do the activity to outreach the children, especially the the, the the school children. I want to them to hear, as you know that the the, the children they are smart, they, they want to learn. Mm. But how they learn if we don't we don't we don't send them, send the worker or or you don't send us to go. Unless you send us to go and then they may hear the gospel. Send us to teach them. Send us to, to, to play with them. To know the love of Christ, mm. that's why they they, they 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 have a chance to believe God. So Cambodians, we need Christ. We want to build a great Cambodia in Jesus Christ mm. together with American peoples. And we believe it's yeah. possible. We really believe it's possible. Um, these I haven't seen poverty like this before. Uh, these people are literally walking an hour just to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, Pastor Hoare's biggest need is to move uh, and find a building within uh, his town. So these people aren't walking this far. And when you look at how much God has blessed America, this just won't take a lot for the American church to partner with a man like this and help him out. Tell us how much you bring in every month for support. Uh, 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 now, uh, I, I, the support my salary is 430 every month for the family and the uh, to, to, to survive and to live and to work for God. Um, his family is literally living off of $430 working at this, uh, this pace, this level for the sake of Jesus Christ and the gospel. Um, we've seen it ourselves and what would it take for a church, what would it take for 50 people, 100 people to give a small amount of money to support this work? Um, that's what we're asking to do. We've come here, we believe this work. Um, if he stays healthy, if his family stays healthy, if his church stays healthy, we believe because we've seen it that this man uh, can reach thousands of kids in the years to come. Mm -hmm. So consider helping his family. Consider partnering with him. And uh, if you'd like more information about this, uh, contact Elk Grove Bible Church. If you're in Elk Grove Bible Church, uh, we're going to make this happen. We're going to partner with this man. And we want to keep the gospel moving through this great country of Cambodia. Mm -hmm.